Then we're going to get this thing a rocking and a rolling. Yay, yay. Let me click on the go live. Ooh, what's that? I want to, no, go back. No. When you open YouTube and a video is right there that looks interesting that you want to see, and then you go back and it disappears. Darn it. Gosh, that's just, I really wanted to watch that. Nope, oh, wrong button. Darn it. Hold on. Act like a noob over here. I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. Ah, it took long enough. Let's see, I can't see nothing yet. Okay, now I can see. Okay, we got a couple people up in here. Dollar Silver in the building. Dollar Silver in the building. Sabrina Tiff Tiff Breesha Bre Breesha 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 It's pronounced Breesha <laughs> oh, The pineapple was good with you Brandy Miss Hatcher Camille Was good Rochelle Anitria Papa Caesar Heidi um, Life with Lady was good with you Libby if I didn't say it already, Burgundy, uh, Panda Assassin, Sending Me Kippity Kickity, Aaron, Linda was good, Heather, I see you, uh, where, where we at? Where we at? Christian was popping, Dreadhead in here early today, y'all. Before the stream even start, Dreadhead is in here. Tony, Burgundy, Sazzle Dazzle, Rose. Yeah. Renee was good. We in here, y'all. Shantae, what's up? Y'all see the vibes? Y'all see the vibes? Look, I got my sand jersey on. Look, because I'm a sand. <laughs> I'm a bald head of sand. But I'm a sand, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, I like Dragon Ball, if you didn't know. Look, 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 look at the back. Oh, boy, I'm legit. <laughs> ah, yo, it's a slap ham kind of an evening. We're doing nothing but the slippity slappity hams. All right, y'all. We waiting for that magical number to hit, and then we gonna get this thing rocking and the rolling. Dang, y'all! I wanted to create so much content today. This is like the first thing that I'm putting out. Literally, this live stream. Ah, uh, went to the gym. I woke up early this morning. Went to the gym. Okay, uh, after I left the gym, I went to Planet Smoothie to get me a small smoothie. But that smoothie made me so sleepy. <laughs> It made me sleepy instead of giving me energy. I'm not doing that no more. Not doing that no more. Because I wanted to come home. I had YouTube videos for both channels. Freaking TikTok and Instagram. All this stuff I wanted to make. I filmed one video today. A um, Illuminati conspiracy theory video. It's going to be a good one too. I'm posting that tomorrow. I'm halfway through editing it. So yeah, I got to be on the lookout for that tomorrow. It's going to be a good video. Very entertaining. But yeah, we waiting. We had 227 live viewers with 93 likes. Hit that like button so we can get to 250 live viewers. So we can get this thing going. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. Jumped up just like that to 243. Huh. 243 is where it be. 254, let's go. What up, AOK -okay, Mafia? It's your boy, Art of Kicks, and just like that, we back with another one. I had to take a breath right there, a breather, because I, I forgot to take a breath before I did my intro.
This person must be backing up extremely slowly. What are they, what's going on right now? It's late. Why, are the, why is there a truck that makes this sort of sound in my neighborhood this late? What, what could you possibly be doing that you're backing up and it's taking this freaking long? All I want is a, it's a, it's a nice, cool night. I wanted my window open to get that nice, cool breeze in here because all this camera equipment and, and, and computer monitors and all this stuff gets really hot. Didn't want to turn the AC on because it's, it's winter, basically. It's cold outside. Why would I turn the AC on inside? That makes no sense. Just crack a window. if you need. There we go. God. I was about... I was this close to going down there, snatching him out that car and backing that thing into the parking spot myself. I swear it took 20 minutes for them to back into the parking spot. You know what? It's Monday. It's, it's Monday, all right. Yeah, okay. All right, we gonna go ahead and they better not do that mess again. Don't. I don't want to have to close the window. It feels it feels amazing in here right now. You understand? It feels really good in here. God, I was about to turn to a Karen on him. Let me go out there. Turn to a whole Karen tonight. Learn how to back up. Don't park right there. Anyway, y'all, slap ham video. This is creepy and unsettling footage you have to see. Y'all boys, girls ready? I'm ready. Let's go. How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. You're about to see some really freaky video clips that are trending right now. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just, Just like this. this. Oh great, we starting with Potato 99. First it was this fool don't know how to back into a parking spot. Now it's Potato 99. Must be a Monday. Must be a Monday. While filming a video for Snapchat, Redditor Kubebk inadvertently managed to capture something rather creepy on camera. Did he now? Because I can't see nothing. See if you can spot what it is. I don't think I will be able to. I can't even make out a, a freaking uh, uh, a, a building in this video. What's going on here? Is that light? Is that another vehicle? Or is it Potato 99? Okay. It's, it's... The poster was traveling in the passenger seat of a car heading towards Tiger Point, a hill station near Mumbai in the state of Maharashtra, India. At the time, they didn't notice anything out of the ordinary. I don't think we did either, but saw another car and... It was only upon returning from their trip and sharing the video that a friend spotted an uncanny detail. Let me see. If... Really? There ain't no detail in this video. I, all I see is blurriness. One pays close attention. Around the four second mark of the clip, a ghostly hand appears to descend from the vehicle's roof. Oh, wow. That's crazy. You actually do see that. That's the clearest thing in this video. Where'd this hand come from? Look at this. Vehicle's roof. Look at that. That's actually crazy. What the what? That makes no sense. Somebody on top of his car? If you slow it down and brighten it up, the unsettling appearance of the mysterious hand becomes unmistakably clear. It's very clear. I don't understand how. This makes no sense. Maharashtra is a state steeped in history and culture that also harbors a shadowy side filled with tales of the supernatural. One of the most well-known places said to be haunted is the ruins of Mukesh Mills. Located in the posh area of Kalaba in Mumbai, the ruins of Mukesh Mills are often cited as one of the most infamous haunted locations in the region. An eerie remnant of the city's industrial past, Mukesh Mills was established in 1871 by Muljabai Madhavani. It was one of the many textile mills that flourished during the British colonial era. However, a devastating fire in the 1980s brought an end to its operational days, leaving behind a shell of scorched walls, broken windows and an unsettling silence. 
Its dilapidated charm and sprawling complex offering an authentic rustic backdrop soon caught the attention of Bollywood filmmakers. However, as the sun sets, the atmosphere at Mukesh Mills becomes palpably creepy. There have been numerous reports by actors, directors and crew members of supernatural occurrences during their time at the mills. Whispered conversations in hushed corridors, equipment malfunctioning without any apparent reason, and chilling cold breezes in non-air-conditioned rooms are some of the common experiences. One famous anecdote that often circulates in Bollywood circles is that of a leading actress who, during a shoot, began speaking in a man's voice, warning the crew to leave the premises immediately. She had no recollection of the incident once she was back to her normal self. Such incidents have led to a sense of trepidation among many in the industry. Some actors have reportedly stipulated in their contracts that they will not shoot at Mukesh Mills after dark. What? Though skeptics dismiss these tales as mere urban legends or the result of overactive imaginations, others believe that the tragic past of the mills has left behind restless spirits. The belief is further fueled by the fact that the mills are built near the sea, which, according to a local law, is believed to be a haven for lost souls. Given Maharashtra's deep-rooted history and vast cultural diversity, it's unsurprising that the state is rife with tales of the supernatural. This piece of creepy footage, captured by Redditor Kubeb, appears to further serve the enigmatic allure surrounding the region. Every homeowner knows the sound of the occasional creak and thud of their house settling. But when those mundane sounds are accompanied by events too strange to explain away, even the most rational among us can start to feel a chill up the spine. Such was the case for Reddit user LastMammoth895, whose security camera captured not only an unexpected movement, but also a cryptic voice. Poster was at work when he received a text from his wife, who was emptying the dishwasher in the kitchen at the time. She sent him a video clip captured by their security camera in which she noticed a closet door mysteriously swinging open all on its own. A puzzling event given that she was a good 20 feet away in another room. The husband, while reviewing the video, however, caught something even more unsettling. Before the door opens, a voice, distinct and clear, can be heard. I heard it too. If he hadn't have been using his AirPods, it might have slipped by unnoticed. When he made his wife aware of it, she was understandably shaken. The initial impression he got was the word Haya, but upon multiple listenings, it started to sound more like Taya. <laughs> In a hot. I thought that was intentional at first, because I heard it the very first time. I thought it was the homeowners like trying to talk to the dogs through the camera system. You know how people be doing that. And where odd occurrences are typically shrugged off, these back-to-back -back events were too coincidental to ignore. The voice, combined with the unexplained opening of the closet door, has left them both scratching their heads and feeling more than a little unnerved. So what do you think the mysterious voice is saying? Have another listen and let me know what you think it is in the comments down below. Christine, congratulations. The overwhelming dread that grips a parent upon witnessing something inexplicable in their child's room is likely a sensation unparalleled by most fears. Imagine- Todd, Todd says, remember when Kix used to get really scared from these videos? I missed that. You got to deep dive and find some uh, videos that make you fall back in your chair. Look, that's the thing. I've never looked for the videos, you know, the super scary videos. I just- react to like every single one that i can possibly find right so all of my reactions are genuine i never scroll through the videos beforehand to see what's going to be in the videos they just need to put out scarier content right <laughs> they need to put out some scarier content for your boy 
heart-stopping moment of walking into your one-year-old daughter's bedroom, a sanctuary of innocence and safety, only to see a rocking chair moving all by itself with no apparent force behind it. That's exactly what happened to Reddit user Swiss Army Doc, who claimed they had been in their house for less than three months when they captured this unsettling footage. The poster said, The way the chair combined with the footstool or rocking makes me believe that these are two spirits because I would think they would rock together, right? Yeah, if you're rocking in with both of them, they're going to rock together in the same direction, but they're not. They're not rocking the same. As they were checking in on their one-year-old daughter who was crying in her crib when they walked in and saw this terrifying scene. This is creepy, though. I don't see no strings being pulled. Doesn't mean that there isn't any. I don't feel as though these are mechanical. And... I don't think they pre-rocked them and then started recording because the rocking is very consistent. If they pre-rocked them, you would see them gradually slow down, but they're not doing that. So how does one explain the goings on captured in this video? Is it the work of a playful or possibly even jealous poltergeist? Or is there another way to explain the chair's mysterious movement? Let me know your thoughts on this one down below. Project Fear, let me see. This is here is known as the Bamber Lake. When YouTuber Emily Saxton decided to fly their drone over Bamber Lake in New Jersey, they inadvertently stumbled onto something rather unsettling. The video begins normally as the drone makes its way over a park and then the lake itself. Wow, look at that. This is crazy. I've never seen from above the lake getting drained. Like you can actually see some of the stumps. However, when the YouTuber turns the drone towards a bridge on the side of the lake, they quickly notice a strange individual. As you guys can see the water is kind of cool. Yo, wait, what the? As you can see, a person clothed in what appears to be a red hoodie is stumbling around the area. Bro, what? Yo. It's even more bizarre is that the YouTuber soon notices that the person doesn't seem to be wearing any pants. Does this person, are they walking around with no pants? Bro, what the f is this guy doing? Cat. In fact, when the YouTuber flies their drone in for a closer look, they actually spot what appears to be the person's pants on the bridge. <laughs> is that his pants in there? Bro, what? Let me kind of go above. Yo, he's walking in there. The individual then makes their way across the structure, possibly attempting to hide from the drone. However, they soon appear on the other side. Like, is he just hiding from the drone? Oh, wait, there he is. Bro, what is he doing? Man, the way he's walking, it seems, it seems so fake. Like they're in this. YouTuber speculates that the individual. I feel like they're in on this together. Or might be under the influence of alcohol or drugs, given their prolonged, unsteady movements. At one point, two dirt bikers race across the bridge, but the individual seems unfazed by the sight. Bro. Bro, what in the world is going on right now? After a while, the YouTuber guides their drone back to the parking lot near their vehicle and the footage concludes, leaving viewers with an unsettling question. Taylor 74, you a fool. Shout out to everybody watching on Twizzit. Individual without pants wandering near the bridge. Was there a potential threat? One could only hope that no one ventured too close to ascertain the truth. Yeah, what is going on right here? This creepy image, captured around 2003, was posted to Reddit by user Chuani Chuan Chuan. According to them, all 18 children are listed by name, except for the transparent one in the bottom left-hand corner. What heightens the mystery surrounding the spectral figure is that none of the other students could identify them. Okay. Further deepening the intrigue, the translucent child seems to be turned sideways with their hand veiling their face, as though attempting to conceal their identity. Very weird. 
The idea of a ghost child is particularly unsettling because it clashes with our intrinsic beliefs about childhood as a time of innocence, purity and joy. To think of them as spirits suggests an untimely, often tragic halt to that potential, which is a deeply distressing notion. Furthermore, the vulnerability and innocence associated with children makes the thought of them being trapped between realms even more haunting. There's also the uncanny valley effect where something appears almost human but not quite, creating a sense of unease. A ghost child being both familiar and unfamiliar might invoke this feeling more strongly than other apparitions. Yet while the notion of ghost children unsettles many, it's often left to interpretation relying heavily on individual beliefs and experiences. So as always, we'll throw this one over to you, the viewer, for final judgement. Before we take a look at an eerie photo captured in a church in Canada, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and eerie videos. The Anglican Cathedral on Church Hill in Newfoundland, Canada holds a haunting tale that draws many to its historic walls. Construction of the stone cathedral of St John the Baptist began in 1843. However, it was destroyed in the Great Fire of 1846. Undeterred, construction of the present cathedral began the following year. However, it's said that sometime around 1850, tragedy struck again when a stonemason plummeted to his death. As a tribute to the completed nave, the masons posed for a photograph in their finest attire seen here posted to Reddit by user Meg111421. Oh, I see the him. Here's the ghost man right here. Yo, that's crazy. I feel like this is real too. Alloped, a chilling discovery was made. A ghostly figure can be seen standing at the left end of the photo. It's said that this is the deceased Mason. This eerie photograph now resides in the Cathedral's museum. Yo, that's crazy. Amplifying the site's mysterious aura is its cemetery, which dates back to 1699. For a period of time, the dead were laid to rest on top of one another, potentially numbering over 20,000. Due to natural shifts in the terrain and seasonal changes, it's not unusual to find bones emerging on the adjacent Duckworth Street pavement. Wow. We are launching a brand new second channel. The first political assassination in Sweden since the tale of Hollywood's... I was just looking at some of the stuff that Slapham got on the second channel. We might have to check that out soon too. Y'all, we're approaching 300 likes. We're trying to get 500 likes by the end of this live stream. Hit that like button for your boy. We got 700 live viewers. Patini gifted 10 channel memberships and all 10 of them got snatched up too. And she donated $10. Shout out to Patini. Thank you so much for the support. It's morning time for Fatini. Well, it's night time over here for us. She's in the Philippines, if I remember correctly. Got a buddy of mine moving out there in about two months. I'm going to go out there and visit him when he does. Cannot wait. Fatini done gifted another 10. Another 10 channel memberships. Five of them gone already. Six of them gone. Seven of them gone already. Three more to go, two more to go, one more to go, and the last one has been taken. Uh, shout out to Fatina. Y'all, it's time to move on to the next video. Vidya. We got another slap ham. Y'all put in the chat, put in the chat, and you see a slap and a ham for slap ham. You're back. Y'all, this is creepy footage. At least viewers shocked. Let's see how good this is. Y'all ready to go? ...to see some of the freakiest videos going around the internet. Let's check them out. Let's check them out. I brought the eight-person tent, or the six-person tent. A chilling video recently uploaded to the Instagram account, Lifting the Veil Times 2, has left viewers in a state of shock and suspense. 
The footage is believed to be the last known record of a hiker who went missing in the dense forests of Oregon. The video was discovered on a camera reportedly found near a tree in the remote wilderness of Deschutes, roughly 10 miles north of Bend, Oregon. The camera's owner, the missing hiker, can be seen setting up camp in the early parts of the video. I brought the eight-person tent, or the six-person tent. I haven't pulled this thing out in a long time, so I thought first of the season I should pull that out, give it a, give it a go. But as night falls, the footage takes a sinister turn. Yeah, you can hear it so from that side. So it's right outside the tent. There's something right outside the the sounds of movement and rustling can be heard, suggesting the presence of someone or something close by. A sudden thud against the tent is audible, prompting the camper to make a desperate run into the surrounding darkness. The camera's view is thrown into chaos, capturing fleeting glimpses of trees and shadows as the man rushes through the night. What the freak was that? But before the video abruptly cuts off, something unsettling is caught on camera. Watch. Oh, snap! The ominous silhouette of a figure can be seen. I thought it was a naked man. These are the last known moments of the missing hiker. According to reports, despite intensive search and rescue efforts, there remains no trace of him. Yo. The video has ignited a flurry of theories and speculations among internet users. Some point to wildlife encounters, while others hint at it. That would make you think, really, that this is real, because supposedly the guy in this video has been missing every since. So they recovered the camera, and this is what they found on it? Yo, this is actually kind of amazing. What was that? What if that was an alien? Darker, more sinister explanation. The proximity of the location of Ben or a skinwalker in Oregon, a town rich in folklore and tales of mysterious disappearances, only adds to the speculation. For now, the true nature of the events that night remains elusive, leaving the online community anxiously awaiting updates on this puzzling and haunting case. Hey peeps, just a quick interlude to let you know today's episode is sponsored by Dungeon Hunter 6. Down no. rules must fly with into arming like immersive comp wars and raids. 6 isn't just a game. Download the game, it's absolutely free. It's available on iOS and Android. Just scan that QR code or download the game using my special link and all new players will get an amazing starter pack worth over $50. That includes 10 summoning scrolls, one SSR lieutenant, demonic wolf, plus one accessory pack. Also, use your game account to enter the launch lucky spin event for free to win great prizes like iPhone 15 Pro Maxes, PS5s, Apple Watches and more. It all starts on October 15th. So what are you waiting for? Download the game and get involved now. That actually looks better than that other game. Yeah, another one. A disturbing piece of footage captured by a road safety camera in El Salvador has added a new layer of mystery to a tragic car crash. The video, which made waves after local news channel El Rojo Vivo aired the story and subsequently shared it online, offers a puzzling sight that's left many speculating on its implications. Under YouTube guidelines, the start of the footage is a bit too graphic for us to show. Basically, a car loses control on a bridge, it crashes through the guardrails and plummets into the ravine below. Yet, it's what transpires after the accident that's truly captured the attention of viewers worldwide. 
As the dust settles, the footage shows a truck passing by. Keep a close eye on the back of the truck's trailer. Yo, what the freak? If you slow it down, there appears to be a dark figure standing on the back of the truck. What? And they're looking over into the water. What the what? This unexpected sighting has fueled numerous theories, with many residents attesting to an uptick in strange and supernatural occurrences accompanying tragic events in the area. El Rojo Vivo reached out to paranormal expert Caesar Sagath to provide insights into the perplexing sighting. Wow. Sagath suggested that the figure could potentially be a representation of the Angel of Death, or right. the Grim Reaper, exactly. arriving at the scene to guide the unfortunate soul of the crash victim to the afterlife. That's exactly what I was thinking. That's crazy. That's so crazy. This enigmatic appearance has reignited debates on the supernatural and the existence of forces beyond our understanding. Wow. As the community mourns the loss of the driver, many are left wondering about the true nature of this mysterious figure. That's so crazy. Look at that. It looked like the Grim Reaper, y'all. In the captivating realm of the supernatural, a recent discovery by the Paranormal Supernatural Investigation Island, or PSII group, has stirred both intrigue and astonishment among locals and enthusiasts alike. The group, hailing from Galway Island and known for their unwavering dedication to the world of the paranormal since their establishment in February 2019, recently unveiled an eerie image from one of Ireland's historic sites. Ducats Grove Cocalo, a Georgian house with nearly three centuries of history, was recently the focus of one of the group's investigations. The majestic structure was once the proud home of the Ducat family built back in 1745. However, as per tales retold by PSII, the house bears the haunting memories of a tragic love story. William Duckett's alleged illicit affair with a local woman, resulting in her tragic death from a horse riding accident and the subsequent curse cast upon the Duckett's lineage by the grieving mother, has shrouded the house in an air of mystique. During the team's visit, accompanied by select members of the public, a compelling image was captured. In the snapshot, a mysterious figure, believed to be the spirit of a male, can be discerned lurking behind a window pane of the house. Man. This uncanny discovery was made all the more pronounced by the group's I'm calling Pareidolia new instrument, the Phasmatron GD2000. Devised by a physics engineer exclusively for the team, this state-of-the-art device measures fluctuations in electromagnetic energy. A significant surge in these readings, as indicated by the device's alarm, directed the investigators' attention to this very spot where the photograph was taken. The team's online community on Facebook has been a buzz since the release of the image. Many shared their awe with comments highlighting the palpable energy they felt emanating from the picture, while others commended the clarity of the image. Though some may remain skeptical, for many, the photograph offers a tantalizing glimpse into the world that might exist just beyond our understanding. It does kind of look like As a always, guy. I'll throw this one over to you, the viewers. I'd love to get your theories on. You can see what kind of looks like eyes and a nose, maybe a beard and hair up here. This strange photograph in the comments down below. Fascinating. Y'all, I just left a comment and pinned it to the top of the chat. The Black Friday sale is going on right now on the website, artikicks.com. You don't have to use a link or a code. I mean, not a link. You don't have to use a Black Friday code. It's already implemented in all the products. But um, yeah. Artikicks.com, check it out. It's a hey, ladies, this is the perfect time to get the bearded man in your life some handcrafted beard oil by yours truly. I'm telling you, it's a great gift. It's a great gift. And get him a beard comb too. A TikTok video shared by the user Terra S Nocturnos has recently caught the internet's collective imagination, leaving viewers both intrigued and unnerved. On the surface, it depicts a mundane scenario, a motorist stopping at a gas station to have his windscreen cleaned. But as so often is the case with such clips, it's what lurks in the background that's captivated audiences. As the driver films the routine car service, the camera inadvertently captures something far more chilling.
Did you catch that? Positioned on a brick wall at the back of the gas station property, the faint silhouette of a woman can be seen. Dressed in a white gown with long dark hair, the figure's most unsettling feature is her seemingly pallid grey complexion. Potato nine and nine. Where's she at? The haunting image instantly sparked a slew of speculations and theories. While some viewers are convinced the video offers undeniable proof of a ghostly apparition, others believe it might just be a case of pareidolia. Undeniable proof. I'm going with pareidolia. A psychological phenomenon where the mind perceives familiar patterns, often human faces, where none actually exist. For now, the question remains, was this just a fleeting shadow or a ghost caught on camera? Only time and perhaps more evidence will tell. Eddie, a hoodie would be a great gift. The only hoodies I currently have available are the Potato 99 hoodies, which are also on sale. Um, yeah, the other hoodies that I want to get for you guys probably going to get here just in time for Christmas. Nakia, yeah, I know you. Yeah, your, your, your bearded man has a great beard on him, and I'm pretty sure he's loving that beard oil. This next one is a super quick yet eerie clip uploaded to TikTok by user tusme 2 While playing around with his parents' cell phone, this toddler appears to have caught something rather unsettling on camera. Take a look. Out of nowhere, a face appears to the right of screen. Weird. That don't even look real. It's like a piece of paper. Is this another case of pareidolia? Could this just be a strange shadow? Or is it something far more sinister? Let me know your theories on this one in the comments down below. Oh, heck no. My head rest broke, y'all. Before we take a look at a fun game that turns sinister, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. Man. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our mysterious and unsettling videos. My hair is broken. Um, a light-hearted game among friends took a dark turn, leaving not just the participants, but thousands of viewers spooked. Popular TikToker Priscilla Garzak, known for her engaging content, recently uploaded a video where she and her friends were enjoying a simple game of toss the bottle. Little did they know, the game would soon take an unexpected and eerie turn. I gotta try to glue the video it, starts off harmlessly. Laughing and jesting, the friends are seen tossing a half-filled water bottle, announcing playful challenges as they go. <gasps> but as the game progresses, the ambience shifts. The wind, initially calm, begins to howl. The group, once cheerful, start becoming increasingly uneasy. Towards the end of the clip, a dark, mysterious shadow near a tree grabs their attention. It has an uncanny resemblance to a figure standing silently watching them. The fun mood dissipates completely, replaced by fear and speculation. Could it just be an innocent trick of the light or something more sinister lurking in the background? The video has since amassed comments from viewers offering their own. Michelle gifted five channel memberships, big baby. Green eyes with a $20. No, no, thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate you so much. Batman, a shadowy entity known in paranormal circles. Oh, no, nah, Theo. Jump scares happen. Heck, we did a live stream recently where I jumped about three times and I still got to make a a compilation video of my live streams for the 2023 year. Uh, I mean, of my jump scares for the 2023 year. I gotta go find them. It's gonna take, I gotta, I gotta watch probably 100 hours of content to find it. The one slide hearted TikTok clip now stands as a chilling reminder that sometimes fun and games can stumble upon the unexpected and the unexplained. 
Whether it was just a play of shadows or something more sinister, the eerie figure has certainly left its mark. Not just on the OP and her friends, but the wider TikTok community. Y'all, we got 25 new channel members in the building. Y'all, we about to hit 1,000 live viewers and close to 500 likes. Keep hitting that like button for your boy. We got one more video to go. Not the Bro, they ran. I don't even think they saw nothing, but maybe they did. Well, hey, well, that's the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you can't get enough of the old slapped ham. That's right. We can't get enough. So we're watching the next one, y'all. Put Look, let me see it in the chat for slap ham yet again. It's the slap ham marathon tonight, this evening, baby. Creepy and unsettling footage you have to see. See, ain't none of these titles giving me something scary. So, it is what it is. How you doing? I'm Callan, and this is Slapped Ham. You're about to see some really freaky video clips that are trending right now. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just, Just like, like this. this. <laughs> We just saw this. We just saw this. What's going on, Slap Ham? In this video, you're going to see some seriously scary videos that are trending right now. Now, this scary footage will creep you out. Maybe this is the right video. Check them out. Okay, yeah, this is the right one. My bad. This clip, posted to TikTok by user MossGirl71, shows an excerpt of some security footage taken from a bottle shop where the poster's daughter-in-law works. Take a look at what happens. Let me guess, the bottle gonna fall. It's a big arrow we got here. With a rectangle, unnecessary, but okay. Dang. Hope she, don't get in, hope she don't get in trouble for that, because that looked like that was a few hundred dollars worth of wine. A bottle of wine is pushed over as if by some sort of unseen force. A second camera angle shows the incident again. Doosh, doosh, doosh. The footage seems to confirm that the bottles were not manipulated by a person in any way. So then, how does one explain their movement? Could it be the work of a paranormal force? Or is there another way to explain the video? Let me know your thoughts on this one in the comments down below. Potentially terrifying incidents being caught playing out across several security cameras positioned in and around a residential building. The first camera shows a woman entering the building as a strange man comes into view. Next we see the woman waiting for the elevator. She enters, and so too does the strange man as soon as the door opens. He quickly moves to the back of the elevator without pressing a button. By this point, the woman seems nervous, occasionally glancing back at the strange man. Yeah, she knows it's weird that he didn't press the like, ugh, I, oh my goodness, I feel so bad for her. Because she knows right immediately, right now, there's a problem. There's, there, there's a problem here. This man gets on the elevator. He doesn't even attempt to press a button like he going to a specific floor. He gets on like he knows he's going to the exact same floor as she is. And she's never seen this man before. So, rightfully, rightfully so that she's nervous right now. Real nervous. She's like, oh my God, this dude's about to get off the floor on on the same off the elevator on the same floor as me. He's probably gonna follow me to my room, like oh. Then as the elevator door opens, the woman quickly exits. However, the man stays close by.
The woman can be seen quickly walking towards her apartment located at the end of the corridor. He gonna go right in there with her probably. The man stops outside her door, seemingly noting her apartment number. Wow. I'm surprised he didn't try to go in there with her. He then takes a few steps back, pausing for several seconds as if contemplating his next move. What in the world? I ain't just sitting there. Luckily for the woman, the man then decides to return to the elevator. Yo, he look like he's this video under the influence of something. Footage underscores the critical importance of maintaining constant awareness when navigating public spaces. Exactly. It's essential to recognize and trust our gut feelings when something or someone seems amiss. I was just, I just saw something earlier today that's going to be in tomorrow's video. Oh, no, wait. no, it's not. It's, it's going to be in a later video uh, in regards to people passing away because they have headphones on and they're not being aware or fully aware of their surroundings. So many things can happen. You got to be as alert as possible as much as possible. By identifying potential threats early, we may be able to take strategic measures to ensure our safety, that like part. avoiding leading a suspicious person to our actual residence. Y'all, we got over a thousand live viewers with 500 likes. Keep hitting that like button for you, boy. I appreciate y'all. We in here, baby. We got 10 more minutes. Hopefully, the woman seen in this video phoned the authorities and reported the incident. <laughs> That's why HBO block, HB block, H block, Rio. A woman named Amber posted this video to Reddit, keen to understand the mysterious footage she captured. The video was recorded in her kitchen a few years ago and seems to show something rather strange. The camera, which only flagged this anomaly once, momentarily glitches as the mist moves across the room, suggesting potential interference. Amber believes that it seems as though the mist interacts with the eagle feather on the table, then moves towards the sage hanging by the door, both items of spiritual significance. Interesting. Also, as it approaches the door, her dog suddenly wakes up and her cat makes an exit. Amber's history includes vivid experiences with the metaphysical. When she was a child, she had what many would call an imaginary friend, but she truly believed it was a ghost. While her memories of her friend are vague now, her family often recalls her interactions. She also remembers encounters with the Hat Man along with iridescent humanoids. She also claims to have prophetic dreams and believes that she's been visited by spirits as well. This has led her to explore tarot reading and other spiritual practices. Intriguingly, her home is near a cemetery and a psychic one sense of a portal in her house. So what do you think this mysterious mist-like sh- Hey, I'm gonna shout out everybody that was copying merchandise on the website. At the end of the live stream. Hey, could actually be. Does it have a paranormal explanation or is that Hey y'all if we can get if we can get six hundred likes by the end of this video, I'll do one more video. This is the last video, I'll do one more though. There's something else at play here. Watch the clip again and let me know what you think this could be down below. It looked like a ghost to me. The dog even noticed it. This photo was posted to the Facebook page Disbelief Paranormal Official by a user named Mark Horton. The man in the very left of the photo's name is Keith, the poster's brother-in-law who he had never had a chance to meet. Keith sadly took his own life after battling poor mental health. Strikingly, the image also seems to show a ghostly looking figure. The poster's mother-in-law is adamant that this is Keith staying with the family while leaving his body to the angels. Interesting. 
She's also curious to know if her son is still in some way connected to the photo and wonders if he has a message to convey. Throughout history, across various cultures and religions, there exists a belief that objects can possess spiritual energy or become attached to spirits. This phenomenon, known as spiritual attachment, posits that inanimate objects can carry the energy, emotions, or even spirit of a person or event, resulting in various effects on their current owners or surroundings. It's said that there are many ways an object might become spiritually attached. It could have been present during a traumatic event, absorbing the intense energy of that moment. Alternatively, it might have been frequently used or cherished by an individual, embedding a part of their essence within. Objects passed down throughout generations like heirlooms or antiques are commonly believed to hold residual energies from their previous owners. These objects can evoke feelings of joy, love or nostalgia. A grandmother's pendant or a childhood toy might bring comfort and warmth, or perhaps in this case, a photo of the deceased. The impact of spiritually attached objects often hinges on personal beliefs. For believers, these objects serve as conduits to the past, holding tales and energies that span lifetimes. For skeptics, however, the idea might be dismissed as mere superstition. Regardless, the stories surrounding spiritually attached objects undeniably captivate the imagination, reminding us of the profound connections between the material and spiritual worlds. So then, take another look at this photo and let me know what you think it shows in the comments down below. In a recent edition of Ghost Stories posted to the YouTube channel Reviewing History, a man named Steve discussed the origin of two rather creepy photos. The images, captured years ago by Steve's younger sister around the time of Halloween, depict a group of young individuals playing football in a field, presumably enjoying the spirit of the spooky season. But what's caught everyone's attention is the unexpected guest in the second picture. While examining the photos, Steve was drawn to an inexplicable dark figure, seemingly cloaked in black robes. When questioned about the mysterious entity, his sister was adamant the figure had not been there when the photos were taken. That's crazy. She recalled the day vividly, having used two disposable cameras to capture the fun-filled moments with her friends. It don't look at it either. It's been noted that the mysterious figure looks eerily similar to the classic depiction of the Grim Reaper. The story has since stirred intrigue, with many wondering about the origins of the phantom-like presence. Was it a mere anomaly in the camera's film, or something more paranormal tied to the Halloween season? As of now, the true nature of the dark figure remains an enigma, awaiting further investigation. Dang, why does camera take such bad pictures? Goodness gracious. Ever notice you can't step? This next clip is short, but nonetheless perplexing. It was posted to Reddit by user Rise31 and shows a kitchen bench top in the foreground. Take a look at what's being caught on camera. What is that moving? Oh, the bottle cap flew off this bottle. The poster claims they heard a distinct sound resembling a magnet dropping off the fridge. However, when they investigated the source, they noticed the cap from a lemonade bottle had come off. The poster initially thought the cap might have been resting loosely and just rolled off. But nah. after checking the footage, it revealed the cap seemed to have forcefully ejected. Yes, forcefully. Almost like a buildup of gas in the bottle and it popped off. Interesting. Their first thought was perhaps some kind of pressure build up inside of the bottle. Yet in the foot. Ain't that what I just said? Big brain energy. Bitch, just before the cap shoots off, there's a noticeable flash at the top of the bottle. Yeah, I noticed that flash too, which I thought was interesting. It was like, why was what was this light? It had to be something. Something or someone did this. Because otherwise, why would there be a light on this cap when it flies off? The poster says they've always approached such incidents with skepticism and haven't encountered such unexplainable events until now. They're hoping to hear other people's take on this strange incident. So what do you think the footage shows? Let your theories rip down below.
Before we take a look at some strange home security footage, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary, mysterious videos. This clip, posted to Reddit by user Echo Hotel 9 has viewers both confused and intrigued. The footage was captured by the poster's brother's wise security camera located in his living room. Take a look at what's been caught. The heck was that? What is that? The footage is brief, but it seems to show a strange figure popping up into view before disappearing. The frick is that? The audience was quick to offer explanations, with some leaning towards the supernatural, and others taking a humorous stance. While one viewer joked that it was a ghost giving the middle finger, another said it was an underpants gnome. Others thought it was probably something more ordinary, such as it- Wait, wait, wait. Did this man say an underpants gnome? What the heck is that? An insect on the camera's lens, a dog's tail, or an object moved by the ceiling fan. I thought it was a cat paw. This is something. certainly a perplexing one, so we'll throw this over to you, the viewers, for final judgment. What do you think this footage is actually showing? Show it to me again. I don't, there you go. I thought it was a cat. We are launching a brand new second channel. First, yeah, we did it. We made it. To over 600 likes i appreciate y'all so much i had some gunk on my dang old mouse pad i'm over here trying to get off right quick hey what the heck i think i dripped some ice cream on here or something at one point y'all we did it so we got one more video and guess what this next video is double the length of the last video we just watched which means combined, it's the length of two videos that we've already watched tonight. So, we're about to be here probably another 40 minutes. Yay, yay! Hit that like button for another 40 minutes, baby! Hit that like button for another 40 minutes. Where is this video? Okay, here it is. Y'all, it? it's Goose Pimples. 10 scary videos that put skeptical beliefs on trial. Let's go. See a cat staring at something you can't see. In the creepy video you're about to watch, the uploader was left stunned, not just by his cat's odd behaviour, but by something else that he still can't quite believe he caught on camera. Take a look. Oh! I miss my headrest. This don't even feel right. It's not good. It's not good for my neck. I miss my headrest. Bruh. Them eyes so bright on this other cat. I was in this. She didn't mention that he had two cats, did she? I thought it was just the one cat right here. So I didn't know what the heck to expect. Come around that corner back there. Huh. Dang cat. Made up. It's out of me. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did that cat just pull off the cat trick from Alice in Wonderland? What just happened? Bro, that was uh, that was kind of cool. The cat went behind the curtain, and then next thing you know, it like it slithered from underneath it. That was that was where it go? Where, why, why it disappeared too though? All seems calm, right? But wait for it. Out from the shadows, beneath that curtain, did you see it? Bro, this camera frame rate sucks, but that was actually really dope. A ghostly kitty making a surprise appearance. Now, we're all for ghostly apparitions over here, but how did this one vanish into thin air? It's almost like it's emerging from the floor without touching the tiny gap on the curtain, only to retreat back down into the floor again a few seconds later. At the end, we can't see that gap in the curtains, so maybe it stayed still and well camouflaged on the floor with its eyes closed, just in the right place. Or did we just meet the real life Cheshire Cat? Yeah, that's what it, that's the vibes it gave. It gave Chester Cat vibes. With so many ways to twist and tweak videos these days, it's really hard to tell. But we've watched it over and over, and we are still baffled. That's where you come in, though. Real ghostly encounter or poor camera quality? Jump into the comments section, and let's crack this mystery open together. Hey, Christian, did you get your, um, your Aliens Are Real shirt? 
Let me know. You know that feeling where every hair on your body stands up and you just know deep down in your gut that something's not right? Well, these guys can tell you all about it. They ventured into the formidable corridors of Hillview Manor in Newcastle, Pennsylvania, where they had a spine-chilling experience so scary, one of them ended up on the floor. And luckily for you, it was all caught on camera by the CCTV behind them. Let's watch. All right. All in this hallway. They noticed something. Bloof. Yo, that was legit. The scene, a dimly lit hallway with a group of paranormal investigators. Eyes fixed on something we can't see. And then, boom, whatever that was, it sent one guy down like a sack of stones, heart probably racing a mile a minute. Yo, The team that, swears up that, and down that a ghostly figure charged right at them. That's crazy. Nah, that was real. They experienced that. According to them, there were... Hey, did you notice my man when he hit the floor? He was hiding behind this chick's skirt. Oh, my God. Oh, that was too funny. Hey, now watch, watch, watch. He gonna pull her skirt like this one. Try to cover himself. Ah! Footsteps echoing louder and louder. And get this. The building itself. No, no, no. We gotta see it. We gotta see it. Look, look, look. You can see it right here. What? Watch, watch, watch. He's going down. He's going down. He grab. He grabs a skirt, right? And he's gonna try to cover himself with it. Look! 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 You see? Ah! Look at it! Look at it! He got his hand in her skirt. He's trying to hide. He's trying to hide. Look at him! Ah! Ah! Oh my God! That's too funny. That is too funny. Now, Hillview Manor isn't just any old building. It's got a reputation for being one of the most haunted places in the world, with a long history of paranormal activity reported by those who visited. So the team's reactions could actually be the real deal, that genuine shock of coming face to face with the unknown. Trust me, if you've ever experienced it, you'll recognize that look anywhere. But here's where things get tricky. We never actually see this so-called spirit on camera. It's all reactions and recounts. In a place as spooky as Hillview Manor, it's easy for shadows to play tricks on your mind, for every creak and whisper to feel like a ghostly presence. So, spookies, what's the verdict? Did they really have a run-in with a resident ghost, or was it all just an amalgamation of shadows and nerves? Drop your thoughts and theories in the comments section. <laughs> this next scary video might leave you double-checking all your fun night out videos. Uh, These gonna... ladies were having a blast. I remember this one. Singing their hearts out and recording a TikTok to remember. But little did they know, they weren't the only ones wanting to be in the spotlight. Keep those eyes peeled, especially on the top right hand corner. As promised you guys, everybody that's on the website, copy merchandise, I will be shouting you guys out at the end of the live stream. Where did that guy come from? Bet you missed it, didn't you? Yeah, we got we we eleven hundred deep in here this evening. Hit that like button for your boy. It's the Monday Night Live. Look closely. Just as the party's in full swing, a ghostly face decides to photobomb, lurking right behind one of the women. That's creepy. She even flings herself around, almost as if she felt it. But here's where things get murky. With no other witnesses or videos to back up this eerie appearance, Yo, look at that how hand. do we know it's not just someone in a costume? Could have been a Halloween themed night out and that was just a staff member for all we know. Could have been. But what's your take? A genuine ghostly gate crusher or a complete misunderstanding? Let us know what you think. We've all heard the tales of creaky old houses and abandoned asylums being haunted. But nursing homes? That's a new one. In this next strange video, a seemingly ordinary nursing home captured something on the security cameras that they're all struggling to explain. Take a look. So it's gonna come right here. Boom. Just appeared for the camera right there. Oh, I remember this boom. clip too. Oh, let me. 
Y'all saw that walking cane move? Let me show how it came over here. This is ah. where it came. That thing just moving. That's crazy. An inanimate object just moving about. Yeah, it's, it's, it's capturing it. Boom. That's crazy. And then show it move. Somebody picks it up and move it. Good. And then they can see it disappear also. Right here. It's gonna, I'm showing the viewers for your phone. It's there. Gone. And it's gone! One moment it's there, and the next it's gone. And when the security guard checks the other camera, there it is, chilling next to the elevators in an entirely different section of the building. But then it vanishes again, just like that. No tricks, no gimmicks. Although we have got to consider the tech savvy world that we live in. Could this be some digital wizardry? A well it could be. crafted hoax for a few clicks and views? Well, keep an eye on the timestamps. They're hard to read, but we can still see that they didn't jump. So this seems to be raw footage played on the CCTV software itself. Plus, when we slow down, we can actually see the walking stick being yanked and passing by the bottom of the screen. And of course, the uploader sounds genuinely baffled to... Gone. Alright, and then here. Right. Adding that a little extra bit of credibility. There's no over-the-top drama. No flashy effects. Just a walking stick making its ghostly journey, leaving us with more questions than answers. But yeah, the timestamp didn't jump, so it didn't. The footage looked like it's being recorded on the phone off of the surveillance footage. So it's not like it's been sent to a computer and edited. Maybe, just maybe, making you double check every slight disturbance tonight. Worried that the walking stick might be tapping against your door. Nah. Who doesn't love a good unboxing video? Especially when it's a surprise toy from Walmart. Brandy Nicole and her little one were definitely looking forward to it. But as they began diving into the fun, someone or something seemed to want to get involved. So Lydia and I have been seeing you guys do these on here and we saw one at Walmart. There was only one left. So we decided to buy it and now we're going to do it. The mom looked like she was a kid a couple of years ago herself. Okay. <laughs> oh, we were getting water everywhere. It's dead to it like this. Okay. Now, we need to... Okay, open it. Open it, open it, open it. As you say and open it, the cabinet is opening. <laughs> open it. Here, 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 here. Okay, now open it. Ew. It keeps squirting out. Holy shit! That was creepy! Just as she's urging her daughter to open the box, the door decides it's time to join the party. <laughs> Coincidence? Goose Pimple tried to get us, but I'm slow and it didn't, it didn't work. Well, on the paranormal believer's side, we could assume a curious spirit misunderstood her request to open the door rather than the toy box. But if we look with a slightly more sceptical point of view, it's worth analysing her reactions. First, she looks at the camera and says OK. Okay. Like she's making sure the door can be seen on screen before she says open. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. No, not goose pimples. They go analysing better than me. No, oh no, uh-uh. So she's saying first this woman looks at the camera to make sure that the, the cabinet is in, in view. The child might be completely oblivious to what the mother could be doing. And then she looks again as she's saying open to make sure that this thing is indeed in view. Okay. okay. Like she's making sure the door can be seen on screen before she says open. Open it, open it, open it. Maybe to alert someone to pull a string off camera. Then the door opens, and yet again she checks the screen to ensure the door is still visible. A little bit suspicious, isn't it? It's hard to ignore Brandy's frequent glances at the screen. 
Is she just ensuring the camera's still rolling, or is she making sure that the moneymaker remains in shot? Watch it again, weigh their reactions. Yeah, the way her eyes are looking does seem like she's making sure the moneymaker, which is the door, is still in shot. Oh man. And tell us in the comments, genuine haunted house or just another TikTok trick? Caught the cap. Leave your theories down below. Caught the cap. While soaring over the Salt Fork State Park in Ohio, this tricopter, which is essentially a fancy drone, was trying to record some nice eagle eye shots. But after about five minutes, the camera caught something that left the uploader vowing to never step foot near that park ever again. I ain't gonna lie, this drone feels kind of cheap. It feels like a cheap drone. It got a it got a cheap buzzing sound. And the camera's potato ninety nine. It's a fifty dollar drone. Look. It's still better than what I got, cause I ain't got no drone. Look. Now I want a drone. Darn it. If you look to the left hand side of the screen right around here, you can see that amidst the greenery there's a tall dark figure, a creature that seems to have stepped right out of folklore, lurking, watching, before vanishing from sight. Now here's a fun fact, Salt Fork isn't just any state park, it's Ohio's very own Bigfoot hotspot. With it would be the Bigfoot spot. Tales and sightings galore, could this be the real deal? Or but that didn't look like a Bigfoot, that dude looked like he might have been five foot six. Just another tall tale. Before we or a short tale. <laughs> jump to any big conclusions, let's properly analyze the footage together. Which Potato drone in 99. It doesn't fare too well for its credibility because off the bat, the footage is as blurry as a foggy morning. Or a potato 99. And let's be real, Bigfoot is known for its elusive, grainy appearances. Could it be a misidentified animal? Or maybe Bob. Nah, that wasn't no animal. That was an upright person. From down the road, trying out his new Halloween costume a bit early. While this clip might send shivers down your spine and flood your dreams with cryptids, it could have also been the person that was flying the drone, for all we know. Yeah, somebody even says it. Heather says the flyer. That's what it looked like to me. That was the first thing that popped in my head. Whoever that was was the person flying the drone. He just, he tried to capture himself on camera looking like the elusive Bigfoot. All he was, all he had on was some, some gothic looking baggy black clothes. And he knew that his camera didn't pick up quality very well. So as long as he didn't point the camera directly at himself, he can make it seem like the camera was picking up somebody. Man, that was a $50 drone. Do you think that thing got good range when it comes to the drone and the remote control? Heck no. That was him flying it. He couldn't go too far. He had, he had to play the dummy and be a dummy at the same time because there ain't no way that he was flying a drone from a far enough distance to where he could just fly it and randomly capture a Bigfoot, a lucid Bigfoot out in the woods somewhere. No, he had to record himself. Keep that detective hat on because there has not yet been a credible Bigfoot sighting that doesn't look like it's been recorded on a potato. 99, get your shirts and sweaters and pullovers now while they're on sale for Black Friday, artofkicks.com. What's your take though? Genuine Bigfoot stroll or just another blurry bluff? Share your thoughts with us down what below. What up, Jesse? We all love a good ghost story, right? It's just too creepy. But what happens when the lines between magic and the paranormal blur enter the world of TikTok user Magical Poltergeist? Y'all already know who this is. At first glance, the page covers a home that is allegedly haunted by unseen forces and maybe even a demon or two. But you know us, right? We wouldn't just take their word for it, so we had to dig deeper. Just like us. We don't take nobody's word for nothing. If it looked fake. And um, boy, did we have a great catch. It all started when we found this video.
It's the woman. She got up, sat on the edge of the bed, looking back at her man. The surveillance camera's picking her up. She done walked out. Now I know where the bedroom at. She's walking as if she's about possessed. She walked to the kid. This is what I was talking about, y'all. This is what I was talking about when it comes to security cameras of any sort and they having night vision. Um, depending on what you're wearing, like it seems like she has on a light gray or a white color shirt. When grays that are the same color align with one another, the cameras will make those things just all fade in together. Like, the further she gets back, the more difficult it becomes to see her because essentially she's in a pitch black room. You see? Now the chair rocking. The dude is in the bed sleep still, allegedly. And she supposed to be just standing over there. Starting off with this eerie clip, it all seems like a regular night until my man got a man. Look, what he know? My man's got a heartogram tattooed on his back. Y'all see this down here? He got a heartogram tattooed on his back. His wife decides to go and stare motionlessly at herself in the mirror. Creepy, absolutely. Fast forward to this overnight footage. Everything seems calm until, well, something felt a little bit off, especially considering how easy it is to use software masking on still footage. So we kept on digging. Now this one's a head scratcher. Oh my God, baby. Hell no, baby, I'm not going over there. This is too much. How the f*** is that turning on? Is a light switch really flickering? These things are really f***ed us like this right now. Baby, I'm, I'm come on, hold on, wait a minute, I'm wait a minute. Not to show my fear, but this is really wait a minute, baby. Out. How the f that mother like fuck? Wait a minute. Oh fuck shit! Oh, Jesus fuck. Christ! What baby. was that, baby? What was that? Hold on, baby, hold on, wait a minute. Is that the fuck? Baby, is that the umbrella? It's a baby umbrella. Baby, hold on, wait a minute. I can't wait a minute. Hold on, right wait a minute, now. wait a minute. How the f the umbrella? The lights flickering on and off. Is that really so scary when there could just be a sneaky edit in play? We aren't convinced just Shout out to Misty for the don't know, baby. Yeah, but this is where things get interesting. Yeah, we're about to hit 800 likes. What? I wasn't expecting that. They got a baby? I don't remember them having no baby. They just... Baby, just cry. Yeah, they said we don't even have a baby. I ain't think they did. No baby, they said. But what's with the baby clothes on display? A little oversight, perhaps? Yeah, what the what? Oh my, see, this couple is getting on my nerves more and more and more. Every time we see a video from them, it gets worse. I know a lot of y'all don't like them at all. <laughs> y'all made it so... So clear that y'all don't like them. My bad, I'm all out of frame. Y'all have made it so clear to me that you do not like, that y'all do not like this couple. They gonna sit here, got a baby sound. They gonna say they don't have a baby. What's with the freaking baby clothes? I'm so confused. Or is it a hint that they're omitting some very important elements of the story? A little online sleuthing led us to their personal Facebook pages. And guess what? 
pictures with their daughter, a card from their son, and even a positive pregnancy test. So... They got three dang on kids, y'all, but they ain't got no baby. Why they, why they gotta come on here and lie on the internet like this? If y'all wanted us to think that y'all just was a single couple, or not, well, single couple, well, a couple with no kids, because y'all wanted to keep your kids off the internet, you failed, because you, you didn't even hide the evidence right here. Still got your babies on all on Facebook and stuff. Look, y'all failed again. About those baby clothes. And then there's this. A kid's room complete with a sleeping toddler on the left. But wait, there's more. Look, I wasn't going to say nothing. But the first thing, look, but because y'all said something, specifically the women in the chat, because y'all said something, I'll say something. The first thing that I noticed when she got up out that bed, was that her belly stick out further than her boobies do. That was the first thing I noticed. Y'all said she pregnant. I was like, oh, okay. I just know that belly was sticking out further than her boobies did. Look, that was all I noticed. Look, that's just what I'm... I'm not trying to be mean. It's the truth. I didn't know that the truth was mean. Baby, don't do that. Slow down. Don't shine, shine. Shine, baby, shine. Okay, baby. Let's try to... Hold on, baby. Whatever happens, do not leave my sight, okay? okay. We're gonna try to make it outside, okay? We're gonna try to make it outside. Okay. So now, hold on, baby. You know what? Hold on. What the fuck? Is that door just on? fucking opening? What the fuck, it's baby? The... Baby, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. It could have been the cat. It could have been that fat cat that was making that sound. Because I've heard cats... Wine and sound exactly like babies. Yeah, yeah, come on now. I ain't stupid. That was the first thing popped in my head too. She got a son that's old enough to write letters. She got a toddler because that clearly that little girl wasn't a baby. And then they pregnant, so they got a baby on the way. So technically they're not lying. They don't got a baby. But at the same time, they act like they ain't had no children when they made that statement. We ain't got no baby. You got one on the way, silly. Duh, we already know. You also got a cat, too. Cats can make baby sounds. I'm for real. I used to have a cat that was outside of my apartment a long time ago. They was doing something. They was doing cat-like activities. That's why I was hearing them sound like a... Why they had to sound like a baby, though? I don't know. Wait a minute, baby. What? Why is the cat doing... What the, the fuck? fuck is the cat doing? What's going on? Baby, hold on. Baby, back up, back up, back up. Oh, my God. Oh, shit, baby. Baby, oh, shit, baby. Hold on, wait a minute. Wait a minute, baby. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Go to try to go over there. Baby, can you... Baby, I'm not going over there. Baby, oh shit, baby. Come on, just go, baby. Just hold on, baby. No, I'm not just going. Just go. I'm not going Fuck, over baby. there. Baby. I'm not going over there. Hold on. There's no fucking way. Hold on, baby. Just baby, I'm scared. Hold on, baby. Oh what shit, the... baby. Hold on, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Baby, Hold on, what stay the strong. fuck are we gonna do? Okay, let's let's go over there slowly. Let's shut the door. Somebody in the chat said they went to their channel, and she's definitely pregnant. And the other kids are at their at the father's house, at the grandfather's house or something. Maybe they just trying to be content creators. That's why they did that. Baby, okay. stay by me. Don't, okay. don't, hold on, wait a minute. I think that's what it is. They try to be content creators, ain't they? Shut that door. What the Par fuck? They want to be. Wait a they want to be paranormal content creators. Shut that door, baby. What the fuck? We've seen this clip before. Now this is where things start to take a turn. Lying about having kids is one thing, but talks of demons, lost souls, and cash up donation requests to quote return the demons back to their home told me. something smells a bit fishy and the final piece of they want to be content creators so bad oh my god look the cap is real with these two i guess uh... hey y'all they gonna copyright claim my video I already know not, not not copyright claim it they gonna um they gonna claim it 
they gonna claim this live stream so that they can get the money off of me. I promise y'all they gonna do it. I promise y'all they're going to claim this live stream so that they can get all around. So the donations that you guys are sending, everything they they got they they are going to attempt to try to get all of that just because we're calling them out. Just because we're calling them out. Ah, I'm surprised they didn't do it to Goose Pimple because Goose Pimple called them out harder than we are. Uh, but it's okay because all I got to do is delete that section out of the live stream and no money for them. <laughs> Proposal, our friend here isn't just any TikToker. He's actually a professional magician trying to advertise his business to the paranormal community. Now we're all for a good trick, but where do we draw the line between magic? My man's a mag. Oh my god. Y'all. You can't be a professional magician and have paranormal stuff happen in your videos too or do paranormal style content. Bro, you're doing magic. That's why that's why all this paranormal stuff is happening. When you live when that this little wall back here where you had that cross, the only time the cross was on the wall and it flipped upside down it's because it was you were you did magic. You made it flip upside upside down. That was the only time the cross ever been on the wall. Because you wanted that cross to flip upside down, and you wanted your wife, girlfriend, baby mama's lady of the night, whatever she is, you wanted her to react to that cross on the wall, just to put emphasis on the fact that it was there. Magic. This man does nothing but magic, and he called it paranormal. Oh my god. The cap is all the way real with these two. Well, I hope they getting some customers for his little magic act. <laughs> and the paranormal. With all these suspicious signs, how can we not be skeptical about their supposedly haunted house? Facts. To make our own minds up, we need to go way back to when it all started. Imagine true. Let's take a look at the very first video. It first started like this. <laughs> Disturbing lost souls. It was never my intention to disturb anyone or disrespect anyone. Part one. That cat was fat. Very fat. That was a big old cat. No, I don't think so. Let's go discover some yeah, yeah. paranormal yeah, yeah. activity. Yeah. Yeah. some magic. No, this man didn't just... No, he didn't just... Said... We gonna discover some paranormal activity and perform some magic. You can't put those two together that quick like that. You can't, cause now that that make us believe that was that's your whole little gimmick right there. He said we gonna discover some paranormal activity activity and make some magic, boy. I want to hear it one more time, cause the cap just got that much realer. Disturbing lost souls. It was never my intention to disturb anyone or disrespect anyone. Part one. Let's go discover some paranormal activity and perform some magic. And perform some magic. You want to do magic in there? Come on. The magic is the paranormal. Nine o'clock at night. These lights are flickering. It's any one of you in this building that's willing to help me vanish this point here, and I'll make them. I'll tell them if you have secret powers, it's completely gone. Yeah, it. Op America, I meant world, because we got people here from all around the world. I think we just discovered the corniest magician on the planet, y'all. I I think we found him. I think this I think this is him. We we discovered the corniest magician on planet Earth. Let's listen again. L listen to how corny this dude is. I wouldn't take nothing. <laughs> 
<laughs> that come out of his mouth serious. I, I, no, I don't want to see you do a magic trick because you sound too corny to do magic. The flicker is, it's any one of you in this building that's willing to help me vanish this coin, yeah? And I'll make them, I'll tell them, if you have secret powers, it's completely gone. Yeah, it all started with him mocking the paranormal in front of a church. It's themes. But hey, maybe we're reading too much into this. Findings? Right. Um, after that, take it and just shove it right back. Them. Showing you the clips from both perspectives and even throwing in a sarcastic joke or two. Although the question still remains, are they trying to take advantage of the paranormal community? Or is their house really haunted and it's just all a big chain of suspicious coincidences? Let us know what you think about this one in the comments. Why did they never mention before that the first video they went and disrespected the paranormal and they did it outside of a church? Why did they never mention that? Maybe that's the reason why they're experiencing some paranormal activities. They so capped, they can't even create a good enough story that make them seem that much more believable. Baby monitors are meant to give parents peace of mind at stupid o'clock, but for Erica Danielle, it became a source of a midnight mystery. She uploaded footage from the baby monitor when her husband was changing the baby who was sleeping peacefully. All was calm and quiet until the little one jerks awake. Panic written all over their face. As the dad rushes over to soothe them, if you look super close, you can see a small orb zipping away from the cot. For those who have seen their fair share of ghostly encounters, this orb might seem like a familiar sign. These little balls of light have often been linked to spirits or otherworldly energies. Could it be that the baby sensed something we couldn't? A presence, perhaps? The timing here is crucial. We see a flashing orb approaching. The baby is startled by it. And when the dad reaches out, the orb flies away. Skeptics would argue it's just a speck of dust or a pesky insect caught in the camera's glare. Although there are some elements of this that don't make sense. Why was the husband changing the baby when the baby was asleep? Surely that's something you do when the child is awake. What would be the point in putting the baby to bed only to risk them waking up again by whipping their nappy off? Also, could the baby have been awoken by the dad making some noise? We know he's in the room because he could see his feet as he crawled away from the crib. What's your take though? A genuine brush with the paranormal? Or did dad tell his wife that a ghost woke the babies? I think the dad woke the baby. We didn't get into too much trouble. As always, we're all ears for your theories. Let's unravel this together. Found a scary video you'd like us to feature? Send us the link on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram at GooseBimplesYT. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get a notification for all our new scary compilations. For those of you that didn't hear, because we got close to 1,200 live viewers, y'all, we got the Black Friday sale going on on the website right now. Cop anything you want on the website for the lowest prices of the year. Everything will be autographed and shipped out right away. Ever walked past? Got the address linked in the top of the chat. Park late at night and felt like you weren't the only one wandering. Yes. Well, these videos might just prove that feeling right. First up, Kevin's video from August 27th, 2023. Mm. Bro, how, man? That ghost is getting it. 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. A heavy workout machine in the park seems to be moving as if someone's using it. But there's no one anywhere near it. And unless there was one powerful hurricane, which we know that there wasn't, the wind wouldn't have been able to move it like that. The only way we thought that this could have been faked was by pulling fishing wire over one of the tree branches. But even then, surely the wire would break with the friction. And this is not the only strange video involving park equipment. Watch this one until the end, because the way it stops is truly bizarre. Got the swing, swing a ling and by itself, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alone swing in a kid's park, swaying back and forth. Fair enough. But then it stops dead in its tracks. No wind, no push, just an abrupt halt. Perhaps a ghost child wants you to push them. Now I know what you're thinking. Swings can move on their own in some cases. Maybe it's off balance or the wind just gave it a nudge. But the sudden stop. That does not seem natural, but maybe that's just us. What do you reckon? Are these parks haunted by playful spirits, or is there a logical explanation that we're missing? As always, we're eager to hear your thoughts. Let us know. Thank you, Dark. Picture this. The year is 1993. Families are recording their daily lives, capturing memories on chunky camcorders. But sometimes, those memories are more perplexing than they are precious. Yeah, we got two more minutes to the live stream. We almost done here. Watch closely as this little girl plays around. Something peculiar happens on the left-hand side of the screen. It's one of those blink and you'll miss it moments. But once you see it, you'll be bewildered. So I think my dad got a ghost on camera back in 1993, and I want you guys to let me know what you think. And for all those Gen Z... Dang, this is 93? Up there, this is a camcorder. We'd set it up, press record, and go about our day. Dang, you know this why? camera... Oh, man, the camera picks up... I don't know. It kind of picks up good. <laughs> kind of picks up good and bad at the same time. It was just a 90s thing. And just so you guys know... The depth of feel is really good on here. That we lived in, so that's why I found this very intriguing. Go ahead and watch that. Dad one. caught a ghost on camera back in 93. Get in the left-hand corner and let me know what you think. Let's see. Yep, that's not supposed to do While that. While it is only a tidy portion of the video, it's still hell of a weird because nobody was anywhere near the pumpkin toy when it toppled over. Right. But if you look real close at the way the toy was already balanced, it seems like it could have been on the verge of falling due to unbalanced weight anyway. Possibly. And the dad moving toys around with the kids stomping around as well could have shook the floor a little. Possibly. And the pumpkin would have obviously moved. It didn't look like something was inside of it too that could have caused it to shift like that. That stuff, that sort of stuff happens all the time. I know yesterday something that I hadn't touched in a long time just randomly fell. I was like, yep, that was already going to fall. Uploaded claims that she's had ghostly encounters in every house she's lived in. Coincidence, or is there something more to this tale? Sadly, she leaves us hanging without diving deeper into her ghostly history. Hey, here's a playlist full of creepy stuff caught on camera for you to enjoy. Don't forget to bump the like button, subscribe, and click the bell icon to avoid missing our weekly spook fest. Yes, yes, y'all, we made it to the end. Precious, shout out to you. She copped the aliens a real, some beard oil, and a Karen t-shirt. Shout out to you. Thank you so much for the support. Who else we got up in here? Uh, Heather. Heather copped one of the ALK -OK beanies. The legendary beanies that are almost gone in specific colors. Caleb. With his sixth order or seventh order, cop that potato 99 sweater. Good pick, good pick. But y'all, we did it. Got to the end of the live stream. Be ready throughout the week, man. Y'all getting content every day from your boy this week. So be on the lookout. Got some good stuff coming for you guys. But uh, we're going to switch it up. We're going to try some new stuff. I want to react to, so, so, to something that I've never done before. So be on the lookout. Some stuff coming. Uh, we're going to do like a Tom McDonald marathon, too. Uh, that's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to that. But anyway, y'all be safe. Y'all be easy. I hope y'all had a fantastic weekend. I hope this was a great start to your week. And I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace.